Good morning, everybody. This is Dr. Lee with another episode of Derm Path Made Easy. And I have to say in advance, um, they are doing construction on our road right now. So there's a bunch of, you're going to hear a jackhammer. So apologize in advance. But today we have a case of pretibial myxedema. Great job, everybody, who answered this correctly. So pretibial myxedema um, is, a, is a disorder uh, most commonly actually found in Graves disease. And the, the entity that you most likely are aware of with Graves disease is, is uh, Graves ophthalmopathy. And that's when you have sort of the swollen eyes, your eyes look like they're bulging outwards. Um, but this is, a, this is a separate kind of diagnosis here. Um, another thing that's a common in late stage thyro uh, hyperthyroidism. So uh, this is from Dr. McKee's book and I could not find better pictures than this. And you can see that it's involving <clears throat> the pretibial or actually just anywhere on the lower shin and leg and it's thought that <clears throat> the the mucin deposits actually present here because of just pressure dependence and mechanical factors so here you can see that it's this lumpy bumpy and in clinically it'll look for anywhere from pink to yellow sometimes they look a little bit waxy like in here and very rarely they can even become almost like elephantiasis like and here you got some more lumpy and bumpy, probably across like the, the shin or knee there. And here's another example. So microscopically, this one's not very difficult and it won't be a very long lesson, but <clears throat> generally um, you will have some variable degrees of acanthosis and maybe some hyperkeratosis, especially in those verrucoid lesions that we saw. In fact, I've seen some that's on the surface, it almost looks like a wart. Um, it can be quite intense. But the main diagnostic feature here <clears throat> is from low power, you can see that, you know, here's a hair follicle, <clears throat> this is the epidermal surface, and you notice that the, the upper dermis here is <clears throat> pretty, uh, it's pale in color compared to the rest of the dermis, which is more of this red pink collagen. <clears throat> Usually um, the mucin deposit is actually pretty much full thickness, but in, on this example here, we do have it uh, quite superficially. So let's take a higher power look at what this looks like. So all that slightly blue or pale colored stuff in between the collagen bundles, that's the mucin, the poly polysaccharide mucin. And this will stain positively with alcium blue. And another feature about this is if you look, um, where is, okay, the collagen bundles, are splayed apart by the mucin, and they become these wispy strands. This isn't normal collagen bundles, right? Normal collagen bundles of the dermis, you expect it to be a little bit broader, but this is like very wispy and sort of narrowed kind of collagen bundles you know, all throughout here. And this is because that bluish mucin in between uh, causes that. Now it's thought that the, the mucin is actually uh, deposited by the fibroblasts, um, which are these cells in here. Uh, some, you know, there's a lot of theories going on about why this may happen and why uh, you develop mucin here, but it may have something to do with uh, thyroid stimulating hormones uh, that target the fibroblasts, causing them to secrete this mucin. So, um, in general, there's not an increased cellularity of fibroblasts, although you know you may see a little bit increased. Um, differentiating it from other entities like sclera myxedema. Um, yes. So, and another key here is that you should be able to see some degree of mucin deposits all the way down deeper in the dermis, and you can see that here. See those little fine, uh, fine strands there with a beaded appearance. That's that's the mucin. You can see it all the way down here too. That's it, not, not too much about this case. Um, so in general, this is most commonly, pretibial myxedema is most commonly found in late stage hyperthyroidism. Um, you know, the epidermis can be kind of acanthotic and hyperkeratotic. And, and uh, the main diagnostic finding here is in the dermis where you have increased mucin deposits and that uh, appears as this bluish stringy stuff. Oftentimes you can see beaded appearance to the stringy stuff, but then the characteristic kind of thinning in, uh, of the collagen bundles here uh, basically reduced to very fine wisps, 
that's the sort of the diagnostic features here. Here, this is some good mucin, right? From all throughout here. Um, the epidermal surface, actually, this one's kind of interesting because somebody, I did see somebody comment on the fact that the surface kind of looks DF-like. And I agree with that. I mean, in other examples, you may not see the mucin, but in this one, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty interesting. Well, that's it. That's all I have for you guys. Thanks, everybody. Uh, if you found this helpful at all, please like, subscribe, and share it with somebody else that you may think this would help. Until next time.